one chopped onion, one finely chopped tomato, a piece of ginger root, finely chopped, and one tablespoon finely chopped garlic. Classic olive oil. Always ensure the pan is medium hot before sauteing the onions. As you can see, the onions sizzle, and that's exactly the temperature I want my pan to be. Stir the onions in the pan. Make sure they're cooking evenly. After that, add the finely chopped tomato. And ensure you break it down into small pieces. Let it cook for three minutes. Once that's done, open the lid and give it a toss around one more time. After that, add the finely chopped garlic. We're now adding the finely chopped ginger. Salt to taste. Now add the chicken masala. What I prefer doing is adding the chicken masala to one cup of water and mixing around. Turn the heat up to high and then add the one cup of mixed chicken masala with the rest of the ingredients in the pan. Make sure you give it a good stir around so that the ingredients mix well. Now add the diced chicken. Ensure you get the chicken coated with the masala that's in the pan. After that, cover the pan. Check on the chicken after five minutes. Ensure the juices are nicely mixing around. As you can see, we are cooking it on high heat for now. Once that's done, cover the lid and turn down the heat to simmer. After 10 minutes, check on the chicken and ensure that it's cooking nicely. Always very important for you to ensure it's cooking nicely to make sure you stir the pieces around so it's evenly cooked. And 
there you go. After another five minutes of cooking it on simmer, the chicken is now ready. Delicious chicken curry. Hey, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share that video, as it would really help. Until next time, you take care and hope to speak to you again in my next video. Bye for now.